was like, it was like 50, 50, 50 wasn't ready, it was like overwhelmed, like, they not believe it, like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm sitting with these guys, like. <laughs> he looked at Joe, and he looked at the screen, and he looked at girl, and he was like, screen here, he looked at girl, he was like, that is you, you know, I'm, 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 this is a surprise, like that? And he didn't notice me for a minute. <laughs> Someone's gloves on the ground. That's mine. Uh, that, that one that was right. Uh, shit. We were talking that shit saying we did. Uh, yeah. And we got one boy. That's when, that's the uh, day when Paul knew he was going to go to 316. John 316. So that type, that day. Oh, I'm gonna start at uh, second dash was uh, 16, and I'm gonna start at 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. Well, that's the, what's, yeah, that's what's coming soon. Famine and great death. And we wish famine and death on all these fucking faggots out here, man. Yes, sir. Um, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Oh yeah, even though these people, even consume the whole society is about to break down, you have an economic collapse. Because it's already bad. People already ain't got no money right now. People are already robbing people shooting people just because they ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? They got to yep. feed their kids, so they're going to rob motherfuckers. So you got a lot of robbing and stealing going on right now. But soon it's going to get worse, okay? It's going to get worse. It's going to get crazy. And y'all still ain't going to repent from your wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that, too. You know, he just yeah, said it right there. Read yeah, that again. Yeah, they ain't going to never repent for their wickedness. It says it right there. Yeah. For all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victory shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Oh yeah, you going to Walmart buying all that cheap Chinese junk, you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, let me get this one. Um, and even them, even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Yeah, the earth is great. There is mm, fucking great up. confusion on the earth. Mm, mm, mm. When, it, when people are fighting for the right to be a faggot, that's great confusion. Okay, because they already turned America into a country of faggots. So now that they're, yeah, you're going to have people at the Olympics protesting. Uh, for faggot rights, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the Olympics, that's that's a homosexual event, actually. That goes back to some ancient Greek uh, homosexual shit. Because back yeah. in the ancient world, in ancient Greece, the, the athletes used to perform in the Olympics butt naked. They would wrestle each other butt naked yeah. in the Olympics. Yeah, because they got the paintings but, and oh, shit to show. Yeah, yeah. Painting, yeah, that faggot with the frisbee-looking thing. Like, you about to throw it, mm -hmm. that statue. You see the wrestling? That's in a couple of them. Yeah, they all those are like Vegas. But Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler, he's the one who designed the Olympic symbol yeah. with the rings, the, the rings on his, that was just Adolf Hitler's design. Now, see, I did not know that. Yeah. You imagine that. Yeah, I did not know that. He learned that. <laughs> learned something every day. That's right. That's what your brothers is for. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Y'all gonna perish of famine. If you ain't right with the Most High, you gonna perish of famine. So as soon as it's gonna be cannibalism out here, y'all gonna be eating each other. Are you gonna get eaten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, somebody's gonna eat your baby. You know what I'm saying? They gonna throw his ass on the grill. That's that's gonna happen, man. We don't feel, like, feel for him. Cause do you see do you see any gardens out here? Do you see any gar? I don't see any gardens. All I see is concrete. For miles and miles and miles, concrete and billions of people. Oh, that's why over there they about to have, they got the drought of the century 
over there in California yeah, right West now. Coast, yeah, yeah. And they got they up in LA because LA is a desert. Okay, it was always a desert. But then they brought water through there through ir irrigation. But now all their uh, all the water's drying up. There's no snow on the mountaintops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so they, they said it's the worst drought they've ever seen in California. Mm -hmm. So soon, if they actually run out of water over there, it's, people's gonna be killing each other, man. It's, it's gonna be crazy. Like the scripture says, man, they it's already... better to die by the sword than by that famine, man. Oh, yeah, the famine's even worse. Yeah, that's, that's, that's far man. worse, man. That's some frightening that's, shit. That's a, mm -hmm. Your body's eating. Yeah. Or yeah. someone else. Man, on the inside. Because yeah. people will kill you for uh, some food. Food and water. People man. will kill you for gasoline or anything. Yeah. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast oh, out yeah. as dung. You might think, oh, I made it. I saved up all my, all, I saved up, I, like Alex Jones or somebody. He saved <laughs> up all that food. But then someone just came and killed your ass and took it. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted. The and earth, the, the earth's gonna be wasted. And the cities shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit. And who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rock. This is a badass future uh, prophecy. People hide themselves in the clefts of the rock. That goes back to the elite. They have a, uh, they got fortresses up there in Switzerland. They hiding out in Switzerland. That's where all the elite keep all their gold and all their money. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna hunt them out. The Swiss Alps. Yeah, up Swiss in the Alps. The Alps. Cause that's where they keep all their money. You know what I'm saying? And that's why all the elite, they send their children to the Swiss school. Like your boy from North Korea, he mm -hmm. said he went to a Swiss school. Yeah, or, sure did. A yeah. private school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got that type of wealth, man. You can go to the best places, period. You ain't gotta be the smartest motherfucker. You can pay your wealth way in. And plus here in America, they got, they got underground military bases up in the Rocky Mountains. You know what I'm saying? The What's rock that called? NORAD? And in the, uh, uh, yeah, they the one that's buried out that way? They got a bunch of them out there. They got a lot sure. of shit out there. I don't, yeah, it's top secret shit they got. You don't know about Yeah, right, it. right. That's what, Valley uh, too. Yeah, that's what that uh, Denver Airport shit is all about. They said they got oh, some yeah. top secret shit up under there. Yep. You know they do. You know, ain't no goddamn aliens that came down and crashed. I mean, them motherfuckers probably found some Russian or some fucking fast past Nazi UFO and they and it crashed and they probably retreat, you know retrieved it man. Well, you see the Rocky Mountains, how immense that shit is huge. That shit is huge. It goes on forever. Um, as an orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left three or four olives, or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days. There shall be three or four left by them that searches their houses with the sword. And search your houses with the sword? Is that what they said? That's right, brother. Let me I mean, read it again. Wait, go ahead. Even so in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. That's why you got the military police to come, because the police, they're, they're militarized now. They got, they got motherfucking tanks. They got anti-riot weapons, them LRADs. Got them free. Okay, yeah. They, they got Humvees, they got machine guns. Mm. They come to your house with the uh, assault rifles, kick down your door, and just blow you away and shoot your little baby, shoot your dog. They, they ain't nothing you gonna was, do about it. They were killing the couch. They just shoot your shit up, man. <laughs> they always get off. If it ever goes to trial, they, they usually get off. Yep. Yep. And the earth shall be laid waste. And the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Uh, hold on, well, you know, like during the Boston Marathon, this is proof that you ain't got no rights. Because one of the, uh, in the Bill of Rights, it says, there shall be no unreasonable searches and seizures. You gotta have a warrant. 
But during that Boston Marathon, they shut down the whole city and went door to door searching. And the government was behind that attack anyway. That shit was a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so they didn't even have wars. They went to every last person's house. That shit was beautiful because it was mainly Edomites. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was mainly Edomites. Now it's their turn. That's yeah, and, they're, and they're a bunch of faggots in Yep, it's their turn too. That's good. That's real fucking good. But there's gonna be more of that, man. It's gonna be a, that's gonna that's gonna be coming to soon. Sooner or later they're gonna try to take the guns away too, man. And that's gonna be a beautiful death. Mm -hmm. And they know where to go to get them too. Oh yeah, you're all registered. <laughs> well most of you. Yeah. Motherfuckers in the hood ain't registered. Yeah, they know exactly where to go. Uh, ain't a single registered in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> right. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The woman shall mourn, having no husband. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegroom be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish the famine. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Yeah. Um, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Simple. So, yeah, simple. That's a simple thing. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the, in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not. A moment. Yeah, like my daughter, man. She was in labor for like uh, 12 hours, and that whole fucking time she was in pain, man. 12 hours. Not slack for a moment, you know what I'm saying? Not for a moment. You just, just hear him crying and yeah, bitching, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how it's gonna be, man. These motherfuckers gonna be praying for, I need some comfort, Jesus. I need some comfort, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. And ain't gonna be no fucking room for comfort. Justifiably so. You know what I mean? They're gonna be talking to the air. Wicked some bitches. Get what the fuck they deserve. That's what, the, that's what you get for breaking the laws of the Heavenly Father. For being a, a hard-headed, uh, you know, a hard-headed, stiff-necked people. You get a goddamn reward for being foolish. Um. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn. Oh, the plagues is already coming like this fake ass snow. Hey, hold up. <laughs> fake that ass snow. snow. <laughs> like this fake ass snow. Hey, you damn right. Snow. It's fake. <laughs> if you can burn it in the wind, you know what I mean? If you can burn it in the wind. What, you got a slavery sign? <laughs> yeah, she got a slavery <laughs> I can't get this snow to pack. I got it, yeah. There's no way snow should be smelling like rubber, man. You know when these, these tire manufacturers like, you know, like Michigan, Bridge, Bridge yeah. Stone, Michigan, Bridge Stone, when they's making them tires, man, they add shit to that shit, man. That's why right, it's too windy chemicals, out here. chemicals and shit, man. Yeah, it's, it's, too, yeah. it's too windy right now. Mm -hmm. But if you take the snow, catch it on fire, it's gonna smell like burnt rubber and plastic. Yep. Yeah. Chemicals. Fucking chemicals. Dirt, 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 dirt. Yeah, yeah, if you watching like this, yeah, if you watching this people, video, man. man. I hate these people, man. If you watching this video, go burn some snow with some fire. And then smell that shit. Then and watch it turn good. black, watch it not melt. That shit done hit the internet by storm. It? Yeah, it did. It did too. That shit's all over the social network. It, yep. Yeah, because yep. it, it snowed last year and the year before. Why? How come all of a sudden thousands of people are making videos saying the snow smells funny? Right, right. 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 Even a blind is seeing you, YouTube been out since 2006. Somebody mm. would have been caught onto that, man. Right. You see, there was another. Um, Water, uh, oil, uh, 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 chemical spill in uh, West Virginia, and there's another one. There's one in North Carolina now. 
They, they just you like, know? Man, they just fucking shit up. Yeah, they, they doing that attention. Somebody's doing that shit put, attention. They, they gotta be. They yeah. trying to they're fuck up our up. water supply. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They trying to mm -hmm. poison us. Because after, after they're gonna try to clean it out, and you can't clean that shit out, man. That'd take years to naturally cleanse itself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The water was already polluted before they did. Right, it was already there. <laughs> you know what you, you can't clean that shit. And they put fluoride in the water by the time it gets to you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that shit is dangerous, man. It's, you you almost can't even drink water no more. And then the water that you get from the store comes in them uh the plastic containers. And they all they don't come in that plastic. Bro. And that plastic that that plastic gets in your water. And that, what's that called? Bisphenol A mm, or something? Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know but what's it that has shit. estrogen in it. And po it poisonous chemicals in the plastic that gets into the water. Right. That's crazy, ain't it? This shit don't make no motherfucking sense, man. That Only don't make no motherfucking devil. sense, man. Only the goddamn devil would do that shit to you, man. Right. You're gonna put fluoride in your water. I'll go Poison. Actual poisons, man. Oh, my people! Oh, let me start back up. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. You know oh, my is. people, hear my word. So, oh, my people, the Lord's people is the nation of Israel. Okay, that's the Lord's people. It ain't nobody else. It's the nation of Israel. Make ye ready to the battle, and then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth. Let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will not lose. That's why you got all these bankers killing their damn self now. Oh, did you hear about uh, earlier today down in Argentina? Somebody blew up the bank data center. Damn! They had, they had all kind. Everybody's bank banking records was on these computers, and they blew that shit up as a fire, and all the records were destroyed. Right. And they trying to cover their tracks. You know what I'm saying? Right. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. I am over there in California. There's going to be a great, there's already a great drought that the farmers are complaining because they don't have any water to water their crops. And they say a large percentage of the uh, the crops in California feeds this whole country. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the fruits and vegetables. Mm. Famine. So yeah, that's, that's going to be that could cause a food shortage right there. Plus, they said they they had the lowest cattle herds Damn. in over like 60, uh, 70 years. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> that's great news. That is great you know, news. That's great news. He that. They that marry, as they shall get no children, and they that marry not, as the widowers. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. Yeah, y'all labor in vain, you know what I'm saying? They, they working every day trying to save your money up. Talk about, oh, I'm gonna have enough money for when I retire. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be no retirement. Look at that great big ass okay. over there. Ain't gonna be no rest. Then that one over. Oh, they talking about retirement. I'll hit it just to hit it. <laughs> Damn, it's a great big ass. God damn. That's a great big ass, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck, man. That's an Israelite. That bitch got be an Israelite. <laughs> okay, uh, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods. Oh, strangers shall reap their fruit, fruits. Hey, did you hear about uh, Nestle? Y'all know Nestle, they make a, 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 a candy bar, they make chocolate? Nestle. You know Nestle. Uh -huh. It's yeah, actually a right. Swiss, uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss company for Switzerland. But uh, do you know they've been uh, taking the water from uh, the Great Lakes? I think uh, was it was Lake Michigan or Lake Superior. And they've been taking that water and selling it to the Chinese. Damn, what? Yeah, that go right with that scripture. Because they're, they're taking our water supply that we, we got over here. The so. shit that we're drinking. Plus they poison in the water. Because mm, mm, mm. plus a lot of the crops still grow in America, they'll ship it overseas. Right. And then, then a lot of the food we get comes from China. The Chinese been pissing and shitting in the food, sending it to us. <laughs> Y'all just loving that shit, man. Loving it. Overthrow their houses, spoil uh, and take their children captives. Yeah, take your children captive. Hey, they'll do that right now. You know. Oh, go ahead. 
Shit, the government, your own government will come through and snatch your babies from you, okay? If they don't agree with anything you're doing, they'll come to your house, they'll say, oh, you're not fit to be a parent, and, and the, the government will steal your children from you. And then they're gonna take them up to the little child molest molestation. They're gonna rape your children, man. They just gonna they gonna take your children and rape them. It happens all the time. Yeah, because I've seen cases of uh, domestic violence, and they told the say the parents weren't even if it, you know fit for be parents no more just for domestic violence. Right, that a yeah. bitch is out committing adultery, and that man whipped her motherfucking ass. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, that's in the scriptures. This devil is committing a grave sin by getting in the mother man's business like that, man. Yep, I've seen a lot of people. Who get a? Uh, they'll have their kids taken from them just because they believe in the Bible, or because they're trying to uh, live live out in the middle of nowhere and be uh, independent of the government, and then and they be homeschooling them. They see, now they don't want your kids to be homeschooled and raised on the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They don't go along with their. Uh, yeah, they, totally they, bro, they shit. But they they want to send your kids to these fucked up ass public schools where they can brainwash them. That make them fucking retarded, man. They pretty much these public schools pretty much just lobotomize your ass. You know what I'm saying? You lucky if you make it out of there. Yeah. They, by the time you graduate from high school, your mind's all fucked up. You got all kind of fucked up shit implanted in your brain, man. Mm. You ain't got the nerve to go to college after that. Yeah, cause yeah, these college students they're the dumbest people I've ever talked to in my life, man. Mm. 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 Man, we've been, we've been you would out. never believe it, man. I, man, I've yet to talk to a single intelligent person out here. These motherfuckers are dumb as hell, man. They're goddamn retarded. These colleges ain't teaching these people shit. Wait a minute, this is the future generation leaders. Oh, uh, yeah, and women, and most of the students are women. Yeah. And they're, they're just gone. Some I don't even know how they get degrees, man. It don't even make no sense. And a degree must they, not they be hard to get as long as you pay them. They give them away. Yeah, yeah they give them away. Yep. This is a big joke, man. That's all it is. It's a big fucking joke. Pick a paper like you wipe your ass with. Pick a toilet paper like you wipe your ass with. What's the difference? One of them got writing on it. The other one don't. <laughs> it's shit. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. Um. Because really, we're in captivity right now, actually. You, yeah. To do anything in America, you gotta have permission. If you wanna drive, you gotta have permission. Okay? If you wanna get a house, you gotta get permission. You gotta pay property tax. If you don't pay that property tax for taking your house. To get married? Oh, yeah. If you wanna get married, you to gotta go to the state. Right. To actually get some pussy. Yeah. Hey, even if you wanna have a baby, you gotta have it inside of a hospital. And so they can give them a number. Uh -huh. And they can give them a social security number. As soon as your baby comes out, they tag his ass with a number. Gotcha. And what they really want to do is microchip your babies. Gotcha. They want to put microchips oh, in everybody. Oh, that starts in May. Oh, shit. That starts in May, when it's going to be mandatory that these little heathens that's going to be born, yeah, you yeah. know, when these little heathens that's going to be born, they're going to get chipped. That starts in May. Yeah. I think it's May. May 1st, April, May. I can't wait to see what one happens when they do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause soon, yeah, because soon they're going to want to uh, put microchips in everybody, man. That reminds me of um, Katrina when that happened, when they had them heathen bastards up in that um. Oh. That dome, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, chipping yeah. on kids, the babies and shit. That, that the Katrina was beautiful. Yeah. We need more Katrina. Yeah. A lot more. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more too, man. Watch. Um. And they that occupied their merchandise with robbery, the the more they debt their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons the more will I be angry with them for their sins, said the Lord. Oh yeah, when, when Esau builds all these giant cities with these giant buildings, they spending all this money, just building it, that, that, that pisses the most high off. Who? They got these big giant, Who? They, well, they always trying to build a new tallest building in the world. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. The most high, he doesn't like that shit, that's a proud spirit, man. That's crazy, man. But yeah, hey, get that at Mal I'll get it. Let me get that Malachi. Man, what the fuck you gonna do when you up the top of that motherfucker and the fire let loose, man? Right, yeah. You're People are stupid, man. They even going that shit. But when like the nah, first time. Yeah, the first time I went to New York, man, I couldn't wait to go to the Empire State. Look at this good body, man. I couldn't wait to go to the Empire State, but I got pictures from the top of it, man. And I was just thinking when I was on the top of that bitch, man, if this motherfucker was a fall or something. Tim like this lead. Right, man. That's man, you gotta you gotta go up there, man. It's just amazing how high up it is, man. That's some foolish shit to go up in that shit. 
Yeah, you died. Man, what is going on with Just these like bodies, man? Just like the motherfuckers up on 9-11, they, they got killed, didn't they? Right, right. They is all crap. Ain't you ain't gonna see me up on no goddamn 99th floor. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck that shit. I ain't going up in there. I'm sorry. Because they don't got elevators that go all the way to the top. They got... Yeah. They got... This is a series. You got to get on like two elevators. In tall buildings, you got to get off of one and get on another one. Man, they don't man. got one that just go from one to all the way to the top. Yeah, that's so they don't make them like that. Yeah, you got to take them off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something happens, man. You got to get off that motherfucker. And, <laughs> and let me read this real quick. It's Malachi. Ma Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, thus saith the Lord. Actually, let me start at 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Yep. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? A goddamn Edomite. Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. So the Lord said he loved Jacob. <laughs> well, the elect. <laughs> well, yeah. He said, I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, <laughs> and laid his mountains, that means his kingdoms, and laid, and plus up a Mount Seir too. He ain't even up in there no more. You know? But anywhere he's at, all of his kingdoms, all of his strongholds, you know what I'm saying? Right. Where Edom said, we are pop oh, excuse me, I got back up. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste yeah. for the dragons of the wilderness. And his government. Yeah, his government. Governments, his kingdoms. His powers, right. America, right. goddamn United Kingdom, all that shit. Right. Especially America. Most high breaking that shit down slowly, but surely. Yeah, America, you yeah. Know? We're getting fucked up there. I mean, things is moving kind of slow right now, but best believe that time coming, shit gonna speed the fuck up, and you ain't gonna be able to take it then. You gonna know it's the most high doing it then when it speed up. You gonna know it's the most high. Why fall before destruction. That's a popular saying in the scripture. That's why you got all them bankers committing suicide. You know, how many in this last week? Maybe like three, I think. It was more than that. Well, probably more. Yeah, it was more than that. One I see. Yep, it was more than that. So there's going to be a lot more, though. A lot more. Right, because they used to living fucking good. Yep. They used to having everything they want. You know what I'm saying? Now that their kingdom's falling, now that their bills is falling behind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shit. The they, yeah. get, they get downsized to it. Three bedroom apartment <laughs> and want to kill themselves. Right, 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 what right. Bedroom of law. Oh yeah, it. you know because they now got fantasy land jobs. <laughs> Your fantasy land jobs ain't gonna last too much longer. You know what I'm saying, man? On the white collar workers. Oh, what yeah. the fuck they do though? They, do, they, they put do. a suit on, go downtown. Do nothing. What are they doing? Be a goddamn devil. There you go. There you go. They suit. They ain't doing and, shit. And them jobs are easy as hell. Right, right. Hey, these motherfuckers don't. You, you would think they don't pay a motherfucker more working at like Wendy's or something. You would, that's a oh, labor job. Well, working, labor at, job. working at the steel factory. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think yeah. the most dangerous shit would get paid the most. Yeah. But nope, not in this fucked up place. A motherfucker that put on a fucking toot and a suit and a tie and go down downtown and do absolutely nothing, nothing. makes six figures. Four, six Wait, figures, seven is, figures. He is doing something. He's robbing your Right, right. Yeah. Damn yeah. right. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. All these yep. bankers robbing your yep. motherfucking ass. Yep. Clean too. Rich has gotten by ill-gotten gains. It's Robbery. Just, it's just like that movie uh, with Justin Timberlake. What's that movie? That's Robbery a bad time. movie, man. End Time? Or is it Out of Time? Yeah, that Justin. You probably seen it. <laughs> yeah, I just watched that shit, man. That's a good movie, man. But they had, yeah, man, they showed you in that movie how the bankers was, was uh, keeping everybody in poverty. And check. And it was impossible. And if you tried to get out the ghetto, uh, if they made you stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you couldn't buy certain shit. Yeah, they, they made for sure that the poor stay poor. They made yep. for sure. Just like now, That's huh? how it is. Just like now, huh? That's really what that movie was showing. Yep. Yeah. Because they're eliminating the middle class. Yeah, it's just going to be rich. Uh, in the movie, they had to go past, like, what, five, four gates? Yep. Just to get to the so-called nice part. Damn, what? You don't remember that in the movie? Yeah. I don't remember that part. Yeah, they, yeah, they go through, like, uh, four or five uh, phones for the phone phone. They made sure your ass was safe. And he had to pay, and he had to pay his uh, life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> and let me read the rest of this real quick. It says, uh, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. This is an example of America right now is being impoverished. 
this is a good example how everything the, the stock market or whatever you call that shit uh wall street is up and like a roller coaster up and down up yeah, and down yeah. you know they don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow you know that's just all bullshit numbers on the screen right, anyway. right. the um the housing market is collapsing the banking system all these bankers committing suicide i mean the list goes on and on you know what i'm saying they're, they're impoverished that's good Hold yeah on. right that's a very that's good news he said where the eden said we impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places. She thus <laughs> said, she <laughs> right, she. But it said, thus saith the Lord of hosts, <laughs> they shall build, but I will throw down. That's right. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation. That means hate forever. Hate despise forever. He said forever. That's right. So what does forever mean? So did that mean? Oh, heavens exist. Right? So that means they can be saved now, though, right? Mm -hmm. Edomites can be saved. So that's proof that uh, the people try to say the Lord came to save all nations. That's a goddamn lie. That's the Lord lie. came for the nation of Israel. That's a motherfucking lie. Man, that, that's proof right there, because the Lord said He hates Esau forever. Mm. forever. Forever means forever. It don't mean nothing else. And Esau, these pasty devils that's walking around that that you look in their eyes, they have no spirit. They're a bunch of spiritually wicked, you know. They're a bunch of faggots. Right. They're, yeah, they're all girly, they're all feminine. Sodomites. Sodomites. You just want to clothesline these motherfuckers. We're Israelites, and this nation of America in America are sodomites. Yeah, y'all sodomites. A bunch of goddamn faggots. That's what America is, the land of faggots. The land of faggots and freaks. Yo, okay. it, everybody's good with it because they're faggots too. Fucking diseased bastards. What, what would you say Fucking diseased pieces the, of the, shit. The freak show that, that came out to the streets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everywhere you go is a goddamn freak show. You, back in the day when shit was in black and white TV, you had to go to the freak show. You had right. You, you see some right. weird shit. You remember back in the day they used to have what's called a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to go see oh, the that shit. That was popular. That was very popular. It still is popular. Mm -hmm. They still got that going on. You got to go see that shit. Now you can just, I you mean, the streets. The front door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> That's the, man, I, was, I didn't even get the weird shit, man, when I was watching that movie, man. We went to see it down the street. Me and a bunch of, uh, me and a bunch of devils that worked at Tours of Us back in the oh, day. Man. We all got drunk as fucking went to go see it, man. That's I was just, like, I was trying to get some pussy, man. I couldn't. Yeah. Bitches, bitches love that weird shit too, man. Weird shit. Yeah, that'd be the problem. There's probably more women in there than anybody, I bet. Weird shit, man. I'm just throwing rice around. <laughs> the fuck? I mean, this is fun. This supposed to be fun, entertain, fun. Right. You know, well, like he's damn. Talking, he got a weird idea. Of what's fun? Like back in the day, this whole campus, High Street, used to be a whole different uh, oh, atmosphere than it is it, now. There's a billion bars. Yep. Yeah, like I mean, little, little tiny bars. Everybody, I remember that shit. Right, everybody came down here to get some pussy, but now it's like, man, it's, it's, like a wreck. it's like, it's a, it's a fag convention, man. Nobody think about getting no pussy now, man. There be some the fine bars. ass bitches out here too. Uh, we, what we see, or what hey, all I day long? A, I seen the finest hoes I ever seen in my life out here. This a, this a, they, watch, and when the Lord, gets ever us, seen. And when the Lord gives us that power, we're gonna be snatching these hoes up too. Come here. <laughs> What's that metal, um, mortal, mortal, yeah, mortal, mortal Come here! <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me get this, let me get this picture. Real quick. This real quick. Yeah, these hoes are gonna be a commodity. These Edomite hoes, especially the Edomite hoes are gonna be a commodity. Well, some of them do be looking good. They be looking good as hell. Yeah, some of them do. Some of them do. A lot of these bitches we be mistaken, man, be actual Israelite stuff. Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. A lot of them be actual Israelite stuff. Because there's more Israel than any of these motherfucking nations, man. Yeah. It, uh, Esau wasn't a stud. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? right, though, yeah, because some of them, yeah, even my bitches, especially them, uh, like, like, you look at Queen Elizabeth and her people. Oh, God. I thought God. they were about her right. That would be nice, wouldn't She it? looked like a reptilian. Yeah, right, right. She that looked like a reptilian. Scary. Yep. She looked very creepy. Been, she looked like she laid eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she looked like she involved in all kind of witchcraft too. Cannibal, um, Cause, what you call it? Cause on, Cause on camera, she always says how much she loves Jesus. Oh God. 
You never watched the Queen Elizabeth's uh, Christmas messages? Oh man, she always I watch talk, all that shit. She always talk about Jesus. I don't miss, I don't miss none of that shit. Man. I love that shit. I man. love watching because the thing is, I've imagined in my mind them motherfuckers going to slavery, man. Yeah. And I ain't I mean, you know, it's a reality. I, I keep my eye on the royal family. I keep, yeah, there you go. I watch yeah. every time I see the royal family in the news. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, I check that shit out. Hey, man. hey, the royal child's watch, the, they're at least watching us. Yeah, they're watching. They're watching us, so we watching them. Hell yeah. <laughs> we watching them. You know? Let me get this scripture real quick. They all a bunch of faggots. Shit, man. man. This is some real yeah, shit, that's man. Like, that's like your boy uh, Chris Christie. They fucking his fat ass up. Who? He that Chris Christie over there the uh uh New Jersey. You know the, the mother he seems about to run for president. Oh god. Oh, god. He got caught yeah. up in that brick yeah. scandal. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's for God. True. But you will have a lot more politicians getting exposed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and soon the people they gonna go nuts and they gonna they gonna start chasing motherfuckers with torches and yeah. pitchforks and shotguns and shit. That they, brings to mind um, what happened in Italy back in um, the early 1900s. That was early. That was uh, with um well, Mussolini. They fuck Mussolini. There you go. There you go. Fuck there you go. Mussolini. And him and his wife. They took his ass. They strung his. They killed that motherfucker. They beat his ass so bloody you couldn't even tell who it was. They made a public example out of him. And his wife yep. killed him and his wife. You couldn't even recognize him, could you? Like you couldn't even recognize him in the photos because they got a bunch of photos on the internet with them hanging upside down. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yep, yep, that was yep. Beautiful. I mean, it's exactly what's going to happen to these elites. I just like what's going on. Eat a mic, man. Yeah, that's big weirdos, goddamn weirdos, man. Goddamn man. weirdos. Everywhere you look, goddamn yeah. creeps and creeps and freaks. Creeps and freaks. That's just like what's going on over there in Ukraine. That's coming here, man. Motherfuckers battling the cops, building fortresses. You know what I'm saying? They're getting down. They're they get, getting that down. That looks, yeah. looks so beautiful, man. Yeah, it does, man. I would just like to you know, go over, go spend a couple days over there, man. That'd be so much fun. Be patient. Be patient. Wait patiently. And, and them suffer. cops are scared too, man. Mm -hmm. but that, but they, they, you see, they uh, they kidnapped one of the protesters' leaders and they crucified his ass. <laughs> they they tortured him, trying to get information and shit out of him. That's amazing. They, they, they said they crucified him. That's bad, man. So, so they get they getting down over there. That's coming over here it's real coming, soon. Man. It's coming. It's coming. People are just gonna go nuts. And they expect it's gonna happen over there in the UK too. Over there in London. You know what I'm saying? Them, them Scots and them Irish, they gonna go nuts. Oh my goodness. They can bust it. You got a lot of Jakes over there too, a lot of Benjamites. They gonna go crazy. They gonna lose it. They already they already burnt London down once. Right. They just burnt that shit down a couple years ago. They were already some that angry motherfuckers, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah they're some, <laughs> they they're drunk as hell. They're mad for nothing for that in the first place. Now no. they got reasons to be mad. <laughs> when they, they over there, they got all the Guinness you could ever want over yeah, there. The Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> They love their guinea too. I love that guinea now. That's be honest good with shit. You. I love that shit now. To be honest with you, yeah. Yep. Add alcohol to already an angry, oppressed people. That's why them Irish. Look at your boy. Look at the boy. How you guys doing? You ain't up, dead yet, man. I don't, I don't miss an opportunity. Most I ain't gonna get you, you bro. Guys, Most I ain't gonna get you, man. Huh? We gave you the truth, oh, and you ain't out here with us. The truth is right listen, here, listen. Man. I'm telling you now. <laughs> It's time coming. Time coming, man. It's all about love, man. Nah, it ain't it's about all, love, it's all man. It's about love, man. Love? Where's love? love? Where you see love at out here? Hold up. Right here, Not man. in this love. Right here. Man, like, come hey, on, man. Give me, give me a loop. That's a false, that's false, man. Oh. That's hey, a false love, man. Let me read one scripture man. to you real quick. You got time for one scripture. Don't read one scripture. I want you to read the entire passage. Okay. And then I'll break it down. Make it understand <laughs> a little better. Okay, break it down. <laughs> butcher the scripture. Uh, he gonna go to the scripture. Give him a nice plain scripture. I am. I got a real good one for you. <laughs> you can, actually, you was telling the, the, the good one, the Nalata. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm going to New Testament. Oh, you want to do? Okay. I'm going New Testament. There's some love and conviction in there. Well, it is definitely love. <laughs> There's a lot. No, you're right. There's tons of love, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm not disputing that, okay? The Lord is love. Right. But He's also this. He's also conviction, oh, you're right. Oh. Uh, where am I at? Romans. We go to church. Yep. Rome, uh, excuse me. Bible study. Listen to listen Well, up. you know what? You uh, you are uh, in a better state of mind than these average normal fools out here, though, that's not even thinking about the most high. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, even though you don't got the truth, you 
you still in a better state of mind. I mean, I can't tell you if you're going to get delivered or not. I can't. Hey, he's, probably, you know? he's probably just trying to get with them girls over there. Right. You want to know why I believe in you this You just trying to get some pussy. You want to know why I believe in this Bible? you in Israelite. That's why it's in your spirit to know. Why? To why? You want to know why I believe in this Bible? Why? why? Two and a half years ago, right? Smoking a ton of weed. It got so bad that in the stadium, I, I snuck up in the back of a, a big semi trailer. Right. I was living in the back of it. Okay. A couple months later, I get I break into a house, catch a burglary charge. I get, I get, I go to jail. F2, huh? How much you get to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Get, uh, F2, right? Found God while I was in jail, okay? I had, I had caught a uh, felony when I was a juvenile, did two years in a juvenile prison, just a little backdrop there. So I, I went in front of the judge probably six, 63 days exactly after I went into jail. Okay? Right. Pled guilty. Right. Prosecutor came back, dropped my charge from an F2 to an F3. Not only, not only let me out, but he let me out without paying a single bond. He let me out on my on my own recognizance. Okay. Well, you're a so-called white man. Mm. And, uh, they look out for. Uh, but also, had, I also had a felony um, before that. Yeah. And in addition to that, man, I also you violated probation. Just fuck up. Yeah. Already, you already, just already violated fuck probation, up. my man. <laughs> already violated probation when I was right, younger. Man. Prosecutor was right there. Don't let this guy out. Don't right, do that. So, right. Guess what? Went back, did my PSI pre-sentence investigation, and mm -hmm. then I went in front of the judge for sentencing, and he gave me not two years in prison, but two years on probation with two years on the shelf. Right, so you right. asked me if I know what the truth is, if I believe in God, it's right here, my man, because well, I found him know, while I was in jail, you know, and the spirit touched me, bro. Well, you know, if I was in that same condition, situation, I would have been locked up for a lot longer than nah, get absolutely not. Let me tell you, what you I been talking humble, about? I've been I in the system. I I've been in the system many a times for absolutely nothing. I ain't never committed co crime, but I was locked up for felonies that I ain't never committed a felony. Now you telling me this it's gonna be the same as me and you, you and me? We're gonna get the same convictions, we're gonna get the same treatment in the judicial system? Absolutely. Oh man, you 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 confused and lost, man. Yeah, right, you just dude. blind, man. We 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 you just we went, blind, man. You went, Cause yeah. there's a difference between you and I, man. You know Cause that, I'm white. Yeah. You, and you no, know exactly. that court's a bit. No. This a racist you, ass, you, this you, a you, racist you, ass nation. I man. had a black judge, my you man. You know what a hypocrite is? Hey, do you know, know who Ron Paul is? So what? He was an uncle Tom? Hey, hold up. <laughs> that don't mean just cause he black don't mean he was a righteous judge. Hey, hold up. That makes him even more wicked. Hey, do you know who Ron Paul is? Yeah, I do. Okay, even Ron Paul. And he's a libertarian, confederate type guy. Mm -hmm. Even Ron Paul said that the judicial system was favored toward white. Thank you, it, it is unjustly, uh, it's, they, they, uh, if you black and you go to court, it's get, you lose for niggas, there's no winning. You ain't gonna lose no case. That's just common sense. That's kind of, only, only person that ever got off was OJ. <laughs> Why did he get off? Because the Lord was with him. Right, he got money. <laughs> oh, but he ain't got money, but the Lord, the Lord was with him. Well, OJ did was a righteous act. Yep. Hey, read yep. this, you get that script oh, man. So I'm gonna show you something about the courts, hold up. What well, OJ did was, it was biblical. He killed a uh, killed an adulterer and the adulteress. That's the right. Adulterer. That's what the scripture says. So the, the, he's forgiven of that. Let me break that down. Well, let's read this first. Okay. You got Revelation two and ten. <laughs> this this what the Lord says about these courts. Revelations two and ten. Fear none of those things which which thou shalt suffer. Behold, we, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And we suffer a lot. I'll read that again from the beginning. We all we do is suffer. Okay, every day we suffer, man. We just pray to the Lord destroy this place, man. Being and, and let, and let the Bible. Right. There's you, no righteousness is not flourish out here, bro. And we're witnesses like the brother got detained for reading the Bible. Yep. Well, we're witnesses to, to that. We've seen it happen here in Columbus, righteous ass Columbus. And there's no ju and he's, there's no justice, there's no righteousness out here. There's nothing but wickedness flourishes out here in America. And throughout the whole earth, okay. And, and we pray that the Lord destroys all wickedness, don't you? Do you not pray that the Lord destroys all wickedness no, and, destro I, and destroys all evil? No. I pray to God, man. I pray to God to what God help you me love to? people and lead well, them to God. Of course. I mean, we, that's what I do. We, we, I ain't out here trying we to wish the Lord would, would make it so people were loving. But well, guess the scripture what? says not. to love good and hate evil. It's it's but you just said uh, you ain't here to destroy it. I do hate evil. We hate evil too a lot. Read this again, though. Read this. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The devil? So who's the devil? Satan. No, no. Wrong. Satan is a spiritual being. The devil is actually. It's an angel. Yeah. The devil is the physical counterpart who is the so called white man. Yeah. Uh, Edomites. What Edomites. Co what color is the devil? You know, you know, forgot that whole teaching we gave you a month ago. What color is the devil? Who the devil, devil is, who the Edomites are. What You're not an Edomite. Yeah. You're not an Edomite. All so-called white people you look at ain't the same nation of people. Now no, let me no, read no, you we're, something. We're, we're, you talking about love and hate, Okay, right? that's what we're talking about when the scripture says the devil shall cast you into prison. The brother asked yeah. you, who is the devil? 
Oh, I'm going to show you who Either you're dealt with. Romans 9 and 13. Listen to this, brother. Listen. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob. Who's Jacob? That's Israel. Okay, the Lord loves Israel. Israel are the sons of God. In the book of Romans, what's that, 8? He says, ye are the sons of God. We're the Israelites. Okay, now listen. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written in the Old Testament, it was written. As We just read it earlier before you got here. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Well, who is Esau? Who is Esau today? Who is Esau? So the Lord hates Esau. Okay? Hates him. That, the Esau is the so-called white people that's controlling stuff. Okay? You see, the judge, they're a different. It's not all white people are the same. We're not all the same race of people. Just like all dark-skinned people are not of all the same race in the same nation. Okay? Exactly. That's how it's going to happen. Like, the day one since we met, the spirit was there. It was like we, like, what you call, uh, we identify with each other. We on That's the, only for the fact we're, that we're, we're on the same vibration. There you go. We're on that same spiritual vibration. That's because we're Israelites. Because we can tell <laughs> our spirits don't click with the Edomite. And right. you can tell an Edomite when you see it. And I'm talking about since day one. You know what I'm saying? We've been going to battle since day one out here on the streets. You know what I'm saying? And actually, in the, the elite, they know they're Edomites. Like That's the chemistry. Like, you know, the Rothschilds, right? Right. They say in in uh in public they say they're of the house of Jacob, but in secretly they've confessed that they actually descend from the house of Esau. Yep, they know who they are. And e Edom as in Esau means red, and that's why Rothschild uh, means red child. Mm. Okay, mm. red. He, they have a red shield. Okay, the house of Esau. Hi, the so-called Jews that live in the state of Israel, that control the media, they run Hollywood. They push all their uh, demonic philosophies on you through their Hollywood music and through the music industry. All the all the uh, artists, all the musicians are all devil worshippers. You ever watch that Kesha? You watch some Kesha, you know what Kesha is? Yeah. Have you watched her videos? Got upside down crosses, got pyramids with an all seeing eye all through the video. All kind of demonic satanic symbolism and is in all the music videos. They're open with it now. They're open with it now. But, but the point is, all the Jews that control the music industry and, and control Hollywood, they, uh, they admit that they actually descend from Esau. Right. Now, see, you talk that love, man. Love is all good, but we, 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 right we're here. dealing with reality now. So when you go to the book of Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter, that's where our spirit is. The whole seventh chapter of Ecclesiastes. That's right. You oh, know? Yeah, read it. That's oh, all good. This is uh, verse John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God. Oh, this is the love. That's, we're going to talk about love, right? Right. You mentioned love. we talking about love yeah, right that's now. That's right. Get the most plain scripture I can. And this is love. This is real love. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Oh, yeah. So the commandments. Now, what's the commandments say? The commandments say you can't be a homosexual. Okay, that's the commandments. Okay, in America, everywhere you look is a goddamn a faggot, bro. You got transvestite people. You just took the Lord's name in vain, bro. The, the, Wait a minute. Well, I didn't say the Lord's name. Where did he say the Lord's name? I, I use God. the common English the God is not a D. God is a title. That's, that's a title. Man. God's that's an not English a name. Word. God, actually, God. I think I think you guys nah, are angry, bro. We go. Ecclesiastes the seventh chapter. Read it. Get it. Get it. Ecclesiastes the seventh chapter. I told you that's the spirit of the I'm Lord. I'm gonna read it, bro. The bro, spirit of the Lord, I think, man. I think y'all are dwelling in anger, bro. Listen, the commandment of the Lord Hold is on. to be angry. I got something for you. That's the commandment of the Lord is to be angry, cause He said, "Anger resteth in the bosom of fools." That scripture reads, says, uh, "Oppression makes a wise seven man chapter, man." Ecclesiastes seven. Seven and seven. Yeah, there's another one too. You passed. I passed it. Man, my hand was numb. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when you hang. <laughs> right. Y'all just I look there. I got, hold on, Luke, Luke, listen to this. Luke 14. Let me get this real quick. Hey, check this out, bro. Luke 14 and 26. This is red letters. You know what that means. Jesus. If any man come to me and hate not his father, and mother, what that say? if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life 
he cannot be my disciple. Like yeah. I said. What that says, man, like, is you should love God before anything else. Exactly. That's okay. what we no, do. You it, you, no, you twist you, you it. No, you, you, you twist it. You twist it. You saying hate. You saying hate, man. I'm not saying hate. I just read the scripture, bro. That says hate yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, you taking it as you should You should hate. You know what? Let me break don't, it down with it means. Don't take it like that, bro. You, you know what? take it like Plus, you, in this society, you love God more than anything else. No shit. That's what I'm saying. Turn from that. Let me tell you something. Because your wives, your kids, your family, they enjoy this. Society. Of course, man. Why do you think the scripture says if you don't hate them? Because they enjoy this world, man. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think when uh, Lot and this dumbass wife was walking up out of Sodom? She looked his, back. Because she was missing that. She like, well, I can't leave here yet. I love this place. You know, right, right. My house. Right. She had her house all decorated. She didn't want to leave it. Oh, oh you can, I, uh, woo. Like, here we go. Oh, go ahead. Here, uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. 1 and 18. For much wisdom is much grief. Yeah, what? Mu was much grief. And he it? that increase of knowledge, increase knowledge, increase wisdom. of sorrow. Increase That's so, right. So we're all, we're sorrowful.